I feel like for me as a creator, I don't do content that may be, I guess you could say, I don't want to say popular, but maybe newsworthy. It's like in the news because I feel, at least for my, I'm trying to create a safe space. You can find that content on TV, in newspapers, on other social media channels. I'm here to be the light in the darkness. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that you can scroll your feed. I want when you see me on your timeline to not be like, ooh, is she gonna talk about what recently happened with the person where it was a suicide or a school shooting? Because I feel like, again, going back to what is the why here? Now I may talk about like a mental health condition that may come from that and make a lighthearted content about it, but it's not linked to that. And I think that that's important because you can't control to a certain extent what comes after what you're watching. So for me, it's a lot of like, nope, not interested, not interested. I come to social media because I want to escape my real life. I'm not coming to social media because I want to heighten. You're exactly right. Yeah, it's a place of entertainment. It's a place to relax. Think about the places you turn your TikTok on. In bed, in the bathroom, on breaks from work. Like when you're stressed out, I'm going to go scroll TikTok. Think about that. That's what everybody else's experience is like. And what can you offer them that's going to be entertaining, educational, or help carry them through that moment where they're just looking for a little bit of community or maybe they're just looking to see what's happening but not necessarily have another reason to be like burdened by something really stressful.